Arabic Grammar, Level 1, Lesson 10 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala khatim al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen Nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ayna lahum bi ihsan ila yawmiddin All praises for Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon the seal of the prophets and messengers, our Prophet Muhammad, and upon his family and companions, and all those who follow them in righteousness, until the day of recompense. Insha'Allah, in this lesson, we will cover maf'ul bihi, object of verbal sentences. Maf'ul bihi, the object of verbal sentences. In Arabic, the position of the subject and object of the verb can vary in relation to the verb. However, they can be distinguished by their last vowel or the i'rab. The subject, fa'il, the doer of the verb, generally has a dhamma or dhammatan, and the object, or maf'ul bihi, the recipient of the action, generally has a fatha or fathatan. The standard form of the verbal sentence in Arabic is the verb followed by the subject and then the object last, as in the man hit the boy. However, flexibility for rhetorical purposes of emphasis allows the order to change, such as All these sentence forms have the same basic meaning except with changes in emphasis. In these sentences, we differentiate the subject from the object by the i'rab, or vowel endings. So if you note in blue, the subject, or fa'il, has a bomma in whichever position it is found, while the object, or maf'ul bihi, has a fatha, again, in whichever position it is found in the sentence. At-tadrib At-tadrib al-awwal Practice reading these sentences, noticing the i'rab, then translate them into English. التدريب الثاني Continue reading and translating. التدريب الثالث Continue reading and translating this last section. التدريب الرابع Read and translate this short story. التدريب الخامس Continue reading and translating the story. التدريب السادس Specify the fa'il or subject of the verbal sentence in each of the following. التدريب السابع Correct the following sentence. المفردات Verbs أفعال Alhamdulillah, in this lesson we have discussed the subject and object of the verb, the fa'il, wa maf'ul bihi. In the next lesson, we will begin to discuss femininity in the Arabic language, insha'Allah. May Allah make your journey to learning Arabic easy and give you meaning and pleasure in your prayer. Ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.